Hostess says it's going out of business, but it may not mean the end for Twinkies and Ding Dongs and Wonder Bread. The company's CEO says he's hoping to find a buyer for about 30 Hostess brands. That's a little consolation, though, to the thousands of employees who are now out of a job. Alicia Myers joins us live from the Lenexa Hostess plan. Alicia. Well, Krista, there are still several employees who are out here at the Hostess plant in Lenexa, and they say they're still striking, hoping that they soon will return to work, this time for a company that appreciates all of their hard work and dedication. Union members say they're tired of hearing that they forced this liquidation of Hostess. Most say the company has known for months they would be forced to make this move, whether the union took Hostess concessions or not. In fact, Hostess already has a hearing set for Monday for approval of its liquidation plans. Employees say that proves it's time for a new company to take over for the iconic brand. And what we're hoping for is that we get somebody that comes in and buys, buys a facility, this one in Emporia, and uh, somebody that wants to be in the bakery business. There haven't been a lot of the last five or six CEOs that they've had haven't had much experience in the baking business. And, and we think that would benefit us a lot. Now, about 3,200 employees across the country will be kept on hand. They will be helping out to clean and close down the Hostess factories. As for what Hostess says for keeping them on, well, they can't take any of their labor agreements to be kept right on here to help cl Hostess close down their operations. Live in Lenexa, Alicia Myers, 41 Action News. Thanks so many people. Thanks for the update, Alicia.